In 1910, why did opportunistic entrepreneurs sell sugar pills, umbrellas and gas masks to the public at vastly inflated prices? I'll give you that one more time. In 1910, why did opportunistic entrepreneurs sell sugar pills, umbrellas and gas masks to the public at vastly inflated prices? I was going to say Spanish hmm. flu, but that's too early. <laughs> it describes itself. Why did opportunistic entrepreneurs sell the hey. public things they don't need? Because that's what opportunistic entrepreneurs do, Tom. End of question. It's the Chat GPT special episode. Exactly. Hmm. I feel like there was some kind of scam going on. Yeah, I'm not why so did scammers <laughs> scam people? So, uh, this is immediately sort of bringing to mind, uh, I cannot remember where this was or when, but probably America at some point in the past 270 years. Um, they <laughs> okay. Narrows <laughs> it down. Narrows it down. Cool. I, think, I think they outlawed um, alcohol. It was during Prohibition. You could only get a drink with a meal and so they would they would say here is here is your meal and you just get a bunch of drinks with that but you're not actually eating the meal this might have been a question on lateral before actually um here's your gas mask and here's your absinthe <laughs> yeah <laughs> yeah <laughs> and then you hand back the sandwich and they give it to someone else <laughs> we've had the reconstituted brick of uh grape juice that says Absolutely, do not let this ferment in a dark cupboard for a while. But oh. <laughs> we, have, we haven't had the uh, with the meal thing. No, prohibition in the US was just a complete ban on alcohol. Mm. You're yeah. thinking like about 2020 when uh, shops started reopening in the UK after the first COVID wave. Yes. And everyone was like, yes, you, can, you, can, you can't go to the pub, but you can have a drink with a substantial meal. <laughs> I was only in the wrong country and around, you know, a hundred, hundred odd years off. Yeah. You can't have a party, but you can have a work event. <laughs> exactly. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Our thing was you, you couldn't go to the bar, but you could take the drinks outside. And that was fine. None of the rules made any sense. But uh, no. but why would you have umbrellas? Oh, umbrellas. Is that the last one? It was umbrellas. Sugar pills, gas masks, and Sugar umbrellas. Sugar pills, umbrellas, and gas masks, yes. Were these like hiding something inside them? Um, because, well, that's what I was thinking when you were talking about prohibition, Corey. It was like, mm -hmm. well, if, if it's illegal to sell alcohol, maybe you could sell an umbrella, mm -hmm. but it's full of absinthe. Um, uh, <laughs> <laughs> the worst kind of umbrella. <laughs> An umbrella of absinthe is a fun night and a trip to the hospital. I, hospital, I think. Um, it's raining outside. I'll just put my umbrella. Oh, I'm covered in absinthe. <laughs> Look, it happens more often than you'd think. Okay, um, but yeah, okay. So I'm feeling sugar pill is is triggering me. Not triggering me. Um, it's reminding me of my degree, which is triggering me. Um, but that makes me think of placebo. So I imagine that the people who were given the sugar pills didn't necessarily know that they were just sugar mm. pills. Would that be accurate to say? Yes. Certainly they were preying on the public's lack of scientific knowledge. Um, to be fair, they didn't have to be sugar pills. They could have been basically anything. Is this to do um, with like protection from some kind of um, man-made natural disaster i know that sounds oxymoronic but that is that is it, it does make sense is, is this to protect themselves from like acid rain or gas or something like the sugar pills rain. yeah the, the sugar pills sort of protect you in some way but they don't and the umbrella is supposed to protect you from uh, the sun's rays or something and the gas mask protects you from dangerous dangerous gases you are very very close there cory oh. the key in the question is 1910 this couldn't have happened the year before, couldn't have happened the year after. Mm. I mean, it could have happened for some other thing, but this was very specifically 1910. Okay, so something was actually happening. It's just that the thing that was happening, like they were still selling mm. fake stuff for it. Yeah. Okay. Yep. What happened in 1910? Um... Well, from Psy Guys, I'm well aware that Luke and I both have no knowledge of history whatsoever. <laughs> <laughs> uh, this uh, uh, is more of a science <laughs> question than a history question. Oh. Ooh. Ooh. Hmm. This was 1910, and the world knew it was coming. So something in space. Mm -hmm. Oh, is it Halley's Halley's comet? Is it a comet or something? It is spot on. Oh, is that well so? It, it was to protect yourself against the the probably what is it cosmic rays or something from that? Yeah, uh, what it says in my card is to supposedly ward off the effects of Halley's comet. Uh, a French astronomer had warned that the comet's tail contained poison gas that could penetrate the Earth's atmosphere and end all life as we know it. Well, 
Well, I'm glad that happened. Um, and if yep. you have this umbrella, you're <laughs> going to be perfectly safe. Yeah. Well, also, uh, one scientist at London's Royal Observatory said the Atlantic and Pacific Oceans were going to swap basins. The South American rainforest would be swallowed up. So there were all sorts of, of doom predictions around the comet. And thus... Scammers were selling all sorts of doom-proof <laughs> devices to help you get through the tribulation that would come with the comet. Good. I mean, just kept the gas mask for another, like, eight years. Like, yes, yeah, <laughs> that would have been it. <laughs> oh, thank goodness I got this gas mask. <laughs>